Hello and welcome! Save files are the heart of any game. It might be just a few bytes of data, but it holds all of our progress, our memories of all the time that we spend in a single game. And it's a sad day when we have to start a game all over again, because there is just no way to back up or protect your save files. However, as I have been playing with my hacked Nintendo 3DS, I learned how not to just back up Nintendo 3DS game card saves, but also eShop games, virtual console game saves, and Nintendo DS game save files. And today, I will show you how to do it too. But first, a message from us at 16-Bit. Today's video is sponsored by us at 16-Bit Games. 16-Bit Games is a variety of mobile games available on Android and iOS. They're fun, fast action games designed with mobile devices in mind, which means they all look, play, and control well, no matter what device you have. Play them today for free from the links in the description below. So, what you'll need to back up your saves is a Hack Nintendo 3DS, FBI, Checkpoint, and some games to back the saves up from. Now, if you don't know what Checkpoint is, it's the software which will manage our backed up save files. If it isn't installed already, I'll have a link for it below, and it's surprisingly simple to install with FBI and the provided QR code from the GitHub page. Now just launch Checkpoint and find a title that you want to back up for it. eShop games are automatically loaded in first, whereas 3DS game cards and DS game cards are usually the first option after the eShop games have loaded. And once you find the game that you want to back up, press A to create a new backup for it and select new, type in the name and your game has been backed up. If you want to restore the save, well, just select A again on the game you want to restore the save of, highlight the save that you want to restore, and press A again. It will automatically restore it. The only downside for using Checkpoint is that you'll need to refresh the entire game database anytime you put in a new game card, either by pressing and holding B, which will take a little bit of time, or by quitting Checkpoint and reopening the software, which is a bit annoying. If you're a fan of that, you can always use FBI, which is a little more cumbersome since you need to quit menus, go back through, and do a bunch of other things. However, it's a little more convenient since it will automatically load game cards first. And it has a really nifty feature on backing up and restoring uh, DS games really, really easily. But now that your game saves have been backed up, where are they, and what can you do with them? Well, the game saves are located on the SD card in the 3DS Checkpoints folder, and you can do more or less whatever you want to do with them. If you want to just throw them on another SD card or a hard drive to save them forever, you can do that. If you want to make it a little easier for yourself to record 3DS gameplay, you can continue your game save on a PC and it'll be like you were playing it there the whole time. Or the most interesting thing I found you can do with it is if you rename your virtual console save, you can actually play your game save on actual hardware. And it'll be like you were always playing your 3DS virtual console game on the actual system. And then when you're done with it, you can just throw it back onto your 3DS and continue from it there. It's really down to whatever you feel you need to do with your game saves. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, have yourself a good day and take care. And don't forget, every Friday there will be a new poll for the 16-bit viewer special. Vote for which games you want us to review on this channel's community tab. Links will be provided below.